In this video, we're going to be using Denton Magic Bright and the Henson TI-22 Titanium Safety Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, and we have a good one for you today because we're going to be using a brand new soap, and this was sent to me, by the way, um, from Denton Magic. Uh, I used a sample of this maybe a month ago, and I was impressed with it. It comes to you for $14.25 for four ounces or $3.56 an ounce on our cost chart, which is a good price. The scent on this is, it's right there, uh, lemongrass, citrus, mint, menthol. I'll put the notes for you right there just in case you didn't get that. But it comes together really nicely, in my opinion. Ah, that, that lemongrass, I just love it. It's not super bright because lemongrass is not a, a punch in your face citrus, but overall it comes together nicely. And I think the, the mint takes the citrus down just a little bit. One of the things that Denton Magic did was put a poker chip in there with Denton Magic on it to scoop your soap with. I think that's a, a very nice touch and a really nice debut offering from uh, Denton Magic. This is a vegan formula. It made a lather really easily that's a big thumbs up with me. I had no problems whatsoever lathering it. So ease of use, big thumbs up on that. The razor for today is the Henson Razor Titanium, TI-22 they call it. This is the aggressive version. I got this from my buddy, Marion the Barbarian. Uh, it retails for $249.99 out of Canada. Carries a lifetime uh, warranty. It's got some nice lather channels on it. It's got some decent weight to it, but it's not too heavy. And we look forward to using this today. Today, I'm just going to use it. I'm not going to take it apart and show it to you in detail. But on the next shave, we'll show you how it loads and so on. It has a feather blade first use loaded in there. And we look forward to using this today. Okay, let's get into it. I'm going to miss the face here. I have a little under 24 hours growth. Today, I'm shaving a little bit early. And there you see a very well hydrated Denton Magic Bright lather. I was really impressed with how easily this lathered and how creamy it is. A lot of times for me, you know, I make no bones about it. I really prefer tallow based soaps. Um, again, I'm open to the possibility that it's placebo effect where I just think I get better lathers or easier lathers. But this one, I have to say, lathered really easily with no problems whatsoever, quickly. So for me, that's a win. Uh, ease of use becoming more important to me because I don't want to spend all day and night lathering a soap, you know? <laughs> uh, I want to get in here and enjoy my shaves and some days I have very busy days, so I don't want to rush my shave, but I don't want to spend all day lathering either. So, you know, fair compromise there. It's a soap that uh, lathers readily and easily. And this one is that. And this has menthol in it also, by the way, so. Um, it's a really nice scent. I like it. It is definitely a scent that I would buy with my own money. Again, this was sent to me by Denton Magic, and I always disclose that. And there will be a Denton Magic giveaway coming up, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. Keep in mind, I still have the, the Twig giveaway ongoing, so I'll link that video below for you. All right. All right. Really nice lab. And I can feel some of that menthol cooling already, which is very much to my liking. I like menthol. And we look forward to giving this retail version of the Denton Magic Bright a try today. Along with our Henson razor. So, first few strokes with the Henson. Very nice. Some blade feel there. Even on the aggressive plate here, there's not a tremendous amount of uh, blade feel. But, certainly more than the uh, aluminum that I used. And so, I do like that. I think that's nice. Um, the Henson razor, because of the way it's designed, the angle's sort of set for you, so you just kind of find it and go. For people who don't want a lot of blade feel, um, you can get their sort of mid-aggressive plate or the mild plate, and you will not feel much blade. It cuts, but it's not menacing in any way. And this one being titanium is uh, a little bit heavier than the aluminum, which I like. I'm not the biggest fan of aluminum razors. I do own some and use them, but I prefer just a little bit more weight. And we'll hope not to open that bump up today, but shall make no guarantees. 
I believe this razor is cutting pretty well. Um, but even with the aggressive plate here, I wouldn't call it crazy aggressive. Um, I think I do feel more than the, uh, the medium plate that I think I tried before. I think that was the medium. Marion also, uh, he sent me the aluminum version to try. At the time, they did not have a, an aggressive aluminum plate. I don't know if they do now either, to be honest. I know they were working on it. This feels pretty good, pretty good. Still for me, it feels, you know, it doesn't feel, um, it doesn't feel aggressive, but I also am aware that I prefer more blade feel. So what I think is aggressive might be far different than you. So please keep that in mind, but it does feel nice and smooth. Uh, I don't feel anything rough whatsoever. And I think the feather blade is a good pairing for this razor. That was a nice first pass. And the Denton Magic Bright uh, was really nice. I'm getting some good menthol um, cooling now. And I, I think that's, that's very, very, very nice. I'm really enjoying this soap. It's got an unusual scent because um, folks don't use lemongrass a lot. I don't know why, because I really like it. Uh, Shannon's has lavender lemongrass, which I absolutely love. And this one, I think if you like lemongrass, if you're not opposed to menthol, a little bit of mint. And I think mint sometimes adds to cooling also. So this is definitely going to be a cooling sort of soap. So if it's if you're having a nice summer day, maybe, and it's super hot and you want to cool down a little bit, this is one of those soaps that would do it for you. It has a good amount of menthol in it that's definitely cooling, but not too much, and really excellent lather. I mean... Hopefully that sheen comes across. It is beautiful. And it was easy, like I said before. And to me, that's money. You know, time is money. And saving me time and not having to fiddle around with lather, that's a good thing. All right, that's good enough. Let's get into pass two here with our Henson, which uh, the first pass was, uh, was quite enjoyable. And so... For the second pass, we'll be going across the grain here. Smooth. You definitely feel, uh, the one thing about the aggressive version is you do get a little bit of uh, blade feel. Um, I'd say there's definitely more than the uh, than the, the mild or medium Henson razor plates. And so this is really good for me. I'm getting, if it would have been almost no blade feel like the other ones, um, I just prefer having blade feel, so it wouldn't be probably to my liking, although I have to say, I'm digging this one. I'm definitely getting some blade feel, although, again, my feeling is, even though I'm getting some, I don't think it's a tremendous amount. However, it might be relative to the other Henson plates. But compared to the other aggressive razors on the market, I wouldn't call this one crazy uh, aggressive, but it does cut well and it does feel nice. And the Henson does something really funny. It really clamps that blade down and it has a really unusual design, but it's working well. And for a titanium razor, um, it's not grossly expensive. You know, it is expensive because titanium is just an expensive uh, material to machine. You know, you're, you're not going to find very many titanium offerings that aren't north of two hundred dollars. Just because it's it just it's an expensive metal to machine. That's all there is to it. It's strong. I think it's generally about twice as strong as stainless steel, but it's lighter, so it gives you a, a really uh, I think an interesting feel um, and I do like I do like titanium razors because in weight they hit that um, really nice mid-level somewhere between aluminum and stainless steel which is what I like and uh, I really enjoy it all right excellent lather here with the Denton Magic I've had no problems whatsoever with the soap and again the next time we use the soap which will be probably Maybe I'll bring the other one around the weekend. We'll do a giveaway for a Denton Magic Soap. We're going to give away Fuge. 
Uh, we won't use that one. We will just give it away because I have used a sample before of Fuji, which is another interesting scent. But this one is my favorite, I think. It's got that awesome lemongrass. Oh, boy, there is some cooling going on now. I'm getting some good cooling. So if you like menthol, between the mint and the menthol, I think this is a really nice cooling sort of soap. And I am, I'm digging it. Very nice indeed. And uh, I got to say, um, as far as vegan formulas go, this is quite a good one. Um, quite easy to, to lather. It did not burst into a fluffy lather. It sort of went creamy from the get-go, and I really like that. I like the way it lathers. So I will definitely, I would say Denton Magic is a brand that I will definitely be keeping my eye on to see what sort of scents they come out with. And this is a, you know, it's a brand new soap maker. So I'd say he's got, he's um, put together a solid first offering. And the best part, it's not crazy expensive. Um, I like that it comes at the, you know, 356 an ounce, which is a good price. I like that. Not going to the super premium in right out of the gate. Just uh, hitting that good price. I think that's awesome. I like that. I'm much less enthusiastic about soaps in the, you know, five, six dollar range out of the gate when they're sort of unproven. Although you can get a good soap. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is a good uh, debut offering. So other, you know, folks can certainly make a premium soap and get a hit on the first offering as well. But generally, we, we like to get to know you a little bit before we're paying five, six dollars an ounce. So this one I'm pretty happy about. And the razor continues to shave well, no problems whatsoever. I get just enough blade to know what I'm doing. However, I do think, and I'm speaking only relative to the other Henson razors, Based on what I remember about the, the aluminum Marion scent, which I think was the mid plate, this one does feel it has more, feel like it has more efficiency. Uh, and it's a good shaver. So I'd say for the debut or maiden voyage, I'm pretty happy with it. No buyer's remorse just yet, but we'll use it more and you know talk about it more as we use it. Very nice. No problems today with this shave. Quite an enjoyable shave, good cooling from the soap. Not really having any issues today. <laughs> Just a nice, relaxing, smooth shave. And let's just get the rest of this lather here. Very nice, very nice indeed. That was quite enjoyable. Um, no grievances to air today. Let me rinse and we'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we applied our alum. No stinging, so that was a super smooth shave. Following the alum, we did a cold water rinse, toweled off with our Lancaster towel, then applied our Thayer's Magic because it's made by witches. Had a really nice, enjoyable shave today with the Henson. This is the TI-22 uh, in aggressive. I enjoyed it. Nice smooth shave. You can definitely get some blade feel, which I like. Um, first run with this was quite good. We'll use it again soon and talk about it a little in a little more detail. The Denton Magic Bright, really nice debut offering from uh, Denton Mat uh, Magic Solid. Easy to lather. I love the scent. Uh, nice menthol cooling. No gripes or grievances. Big thumbs up on the Denton Magic. Uh, we used our turn and shave brush, which I don't think I mentioned at the beginning. Of course, our Captain's Choice bowl. And we're going to finish it out today with a little bit of first line shave blue. And this smells like um, eternity uh, for men, which is an awesome fragrance. And we're going to be off to the races today smelling great. And I hope wherever you are, you have a magnificent shave and you get off to a great start as well. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.